Of course, amazing. Uh, being uh, one of the two players who have eight league titles in the PSL, I'm still going strong. Eh? Uh, me and KK, it's amazing and it's, it's a great achievement. First of all, I will thank the, the team for making it possible for me to win my eighth league title. The boys did fantastic. And uh, the goalkeeping department was also amazing, laughing, giving their best. And uh, of course, we we're doing it for the supporters as well, who were staying at home and uh, cheering us from their couches. And our uh, lost brothers, the, the two brothers that passed on as the season was still going on. I mean, it was, it was very uh, devastating, but uh, we were fighting for them and we made it possible for them. Of course, as I said, that uh, they made it possible for me to, to, to win my eighth league title and goalkeeper of the season because uh, they are young, energetic, very good goalkeepers, very good short stoppers, and uh, they are the future of the club. And uh, of course, it was not easy for them coming into a bigger club than where they were because the pressure is different at Sundown and they, they are learning. They, it's a process because we all didn't come at Sundown and started playing immediately. Uh, I hope they'll get game time as time goes by, and uh, I believe that they, they 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 have the ability to get more clean sheets that I've done this season. If 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 they get a chance to play, and I believe they'll get a chance to play because everyone gets a chance to play, and uh, they've really pushed me so hard this season. Those two, plus Kapalai and Riyad. So for me, it's 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 something that is very good for the club. Of course, we are many, but we are all competitors and we compete against each other and we get the best out of each other. So I believe that uh, they will get game time, as I said, and uh, they'll give the team what they, 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 they are anticipated to give. Of course, the coaches have done a fantastic job because it was not easy for them to come into uh, the driving seat after Coach Pizzo left and after all the achievements he had uh, with the team and everyone thought that it's going to be difficult for Coach Magnova and Coach Rulani and Coach Steve plus Coach Wendell because the team had won a lot of trophies but uh, they've handled the team very well. Uh, we were unfortunate to win, not to win the Nedbank Cup and uh, going further in the Champions League because of a few errors, of course one from me and uh, it costed the team but for, for them to win a league title in their first season, it, it's a great achievement. They handled the team very well with a lot of new players. I think they did fantastic and winning the league with a uh, few games to go, three games to go. I mean, we had already won the league. So for me, they've done a fantastic job and uh, I hope uh, we win more trophies next season with them because it's possible and they, they've done fantastic for the team. Well, Musa has done a fantastic job for the team. He has played left back for the team, centre back, right centre back, as, as, because they normally play sometimes with Ricardo. But for me, he has been solid for the team. Uh, I, I, I still believe he could have won the defender of the season. But, well, we are not the judges. We, we just look at it and move on. And uh, as long as we got the big trophy, which is the, the, the league title, and he's done fantastic. He's been the captain of the team. Uh, when Thompo has been outside and and, uh, and and Ricardo, so which means he's, he's got the ability and the and, and the leadership qualities to lead the team in in the near future. So for me, I believe that is the future of the team, and uh, he's done a fantastic job for us. For me to get 15 clean sheets, I believe he's he's played a huge role in defending me as a goalkeeper and defending the team. It's quite emotional when we talk about uh, the late uh, Mocheka because uh, he, he, he was very, very inspirational in our defense as, 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 as a team and uh, molding him for the, for the future of the team and becoming the captain as, as the coaches had, had seen it. For, for us to lose him was very difficult to, to come back as a team, but we were fighting for, for him. I mean, uh, because he left a big, big, hole in us and we had to give our best to show that we were with him in spirit and uh, because he was a winner we had to also to, to give our best and win this league title on his behalf because he, he is one player who never gave up 
even when he makes a mistake, he will rectify it and move on and fight for the team. I think he played more games than anyone last season. So to lose someone like that was very uh, devastating. And uh, may he so rest in peace. And I believe that he played a huge role also for the team to, to win the league this season. Oh, of course, uh, about the, the, the clean sheets, we were not looking at the record at first. When we started, we were taking one game at a time because every time I, I went on the pitch, Coach Rolande reminded me that I need to get a clean sheet because normally a clean sheet gives us an upper hand to, to win the game. And uh, we had a bet where he had to pay me after I get 10 clean sheets. And he did that when I got 10 clean sheets. And I wanted to get more 10 clean sheets to make it 20 so that I get more money. But... Uh, Unfortunately, I couldn't make it. I got injured on the way and uh, I considered a few goals which I shouldn't have considered. But uh, the, the, the record came through after I got to 15, 15, uh, 15 clean sheets and I, I, I wanted to get it to 17 or 18 because we play for records. We play for, for, for glory and uh, these are the things we need to leave behind as footballers. But I couldn't make it. The team made 18 clean sheets, I think, in the season for, for the league. And uh, hopefully I could have made it uh, 18 myself, but Kennedy came in and reared and they did a good job. Um, first of all is to thank them for supporting us through the, the hard times and the good times. And of course to, to, to thank them for being there for the team uh, when we needed them more. There's a time we could find them on the, on the streets when we are going to the stadiums for them waving at us. And it gives us the motivation and we fight for them and we give them uh, the best. We hope to see them soon in the stadiums. And of course, uh, for all the trophies that we've lost, we believe that we'll give them back to the, to the Yellow Nation next season. And we have the ability to do that and we should keep fighting and they should keep believing in us. But you, you're putting it in my in my mouth, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's a great uh, great feeling, you know. 2007, eight was the last time I won my, my first league. It feels good. So it's a great feeling. I'm happy, and hopefully I can build on just more than just the one trophy next season. Is this one for the kids, perhaps? Yes, for sure. Yeah, next season we're gonna try and go all the way, you know. Uh, I said uh, it's a blessing in disguise maybe that we, uh, that we don't go all the ways because it gives us uh, room to improve and build on that and trying to win, like I said, more than just the league. Yeah, it's obviously great, you know, it's, it's just to try and add, uh, add on top of what they have, the quality they have as, as, as individual players. So for me, it's always good to be amongst great players and to to, 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 to make things look easy, which is not in, at times because we put a lot of effort and, and we work hard in training to, to make it work on the field. So it's, it's, it's been a good season to gel with such great players. Just two quick ones for me. Mm -hmm. How awkward was it at the stadium, uh, you know, when they were calling us to fetch our medals, but you couldn't hear any fans screaming? Yeah, you know, uh, one of the things I wanted to do was bring my kids to celebrate with me, but then I looked at it and I thought they wouldn't get the full experience with the, with the supporters. So. I decided to not let them come celebrate with me because of that reason, you know. The fans play such an important role for the players. They are 12 men and they spur us on in, in bad and in good times. So, yes, obviously it wasn't as good as it would have been with them. And then uh, the last one, if, if you were to sum up uh, the, the, the demand of mental strength throughout this season, what would you say? Well, I'm always one that's constantly working, constantly doing extra, constantly doing. So the mental side of things, yes, the fatigue, mental side comes at times. But I think if you're always constantly working and you're never satisfied with, with what you're doing and you're try, always trying to look for ways to improve or to be better or to prevent injury or to work on finishing or on the fitness or conditioning side of, of the game, then the mental side it's almost like uh, addictive. So for me, that's what, I, that's what I enjoy doing. 
I like <laughs> training, I like working, because this is the reward from all the hard work is the end result, and that's winning titles, winning trophies. Thank you for supporting us, you know. Would have been nice to celebrate with them this season, this, the league title. Hopefully they can come back and hopefully they can support us. We love you. Keep supporting the Yellow Nation. Cabo Yellow. Let's let's go let's go to Cape Town, my friend. Let's go to Cape Town. What are you gonna